Hello, this is David with entry number 488. Shoot, I forgot the number. 489 here in Gangneung. I'm on top of this nice scenic hill. As you can see, that's the city back there behind me. Um, I'm in this nice little kind of a hill. I've recorded at the base of this hill many times. But um, today I decided to record my last video in Gangneung in this nice little idyllic setting. This is called the Solo, Solo Village and is kind of like an old hilltop community. There's actually some houses in the back there where people live. Here's a nice gazebo. As I mentioned before, the gazebos are really nice for the summer when you can sit in there with a couple bottles of beer and some makgeolli, which is a rice liquor, and just kind of sip on it for the night. Then you can go to sleep in there if you bring like a little uh, uh, mosquito net. Up here in uh, the city, in, up this part of the city, you can really get a big kind of scope of how um, how big the city really is. And it's something that I really took for granted uh, when, I, when I first got here was kind of the size of it. And you know, it seems it seems big, but it doesn't really feel big. Um, mainly because a lot of people keep themselves sequestered away in 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 their areas of their city, and they never leave. But um, there really is a lot to see here, and a lot to do. And one of the nicest parts about living in Gangneung for me was getting to learn the city like the back of my hand. And I can confidently say that I know this city better than I think about 99% uh, of the other foreigners that live here. You know, I've walked that red building way out there. You can't even see it because the camera isn't that detailed. But there's a red building way out there where it's Home Plus, where I, near where I live. And, uh, you know, I've walked this, I've walked this entire, this entire city. And um, it really is something that I'll really miss. You know, the, here's something, just something beautiful right here. You see the mountains, the mountains right here. And they terminate just back, just this way, straight this way. And you'll see the most beautiful ocean, you know. And it's just like this wonderful city where you get the best of, the best of both worlds in many situations. Um, so it's just something that I've really come to enjoy, the city, and really come to appreciate kind of living in Gangneung. Um, I remember when I was first placed here and I didn't know, I didn't know what the city was. I never heard of it before. And then um, I had a friend that was also placed here and it just, she said it was okay, it was pretty good, and she'd actually visited before. And um, then when I actually started uh, living here, I just came to know that, um, you know, it's a pretty kick-ass city. And um, yeah, so today I've just been kind of running through my favorite things to do here. I went and I got my favorite breakfast, uh, my favorite lunch, over at the Kebab Jungkook, and um, I was able to, uh, uh, my Bungu Bang lady, the red, the fish-shaped red bean cakes, I was able to go visit her again and get a beautiful uh, bag of those from her, and really just um, kind of take in, you know, like I said, take in the greatest hits of the city. Um, right now, I'm near Tekji, which I, as I said before, is kind of the um, the uh, university area of the city. Um, it's a it's a pretty nice um, nice area for nightlife, and um, over there is kind of one of the first cafes that I really uh, uh, started uh, going to when I got here. So I'm gonna make a trip out to that cafe and. Um, just enjoy a nice cup there and read for a while and um, just take today easy 
you know, the last couple days have been really fun with my friends, and I'm really appreciative of the uh, the time that they've taken out of their lives to come to come to the city and hang out. And now, because this is my last day here, this is really time for me to um, enjoy myself and really um, kind of squeeze the last bit of uh, the last bit of goodness I can out of the city because it's just somewhere that like I really find to be enjoyable apologies for the uh, shakiness right now I'm coming down some steps that are a bit precarious because they're like dirt um, but yeah so I'm very happy happy with the experience of Kangnan and it's I'll miss it a lot and I will visit it occasionally <laughs> because uh, I think I'm going to really like living in Seoul too so anyway that's about it for today thanks for watching and I'll talk to you from Seoul tomorrow